Hello and thanks for joining this webcast where I will introduce Synthemer's lithene liquid polybutadiene polymer range and I'll explain how their properties can provide unique benefits to formulators in many different applications. I'm Malcolm McInnes and I'm the Global Technical Service Manager for this product line. Lithenes are well-established commercial products from Synthemer's Industrial Specialities Division. They're best described as reactive liquid rubbers and, as such, have a number of very useful functional properties that can be delivered through different processing routes. As unsaturated hydrocarbons, lithenes are inherently hydrophobic and immiscible with water or aqueous formulations. They're excellent electrical insulators and retain flexibility even at very low sub-zero temperatures. While they're incompatible in aqueous systems, they do have generally good compatibility with hydrocarbon solvents, natural and synthetic oils. Once formulated and cured, they have good resistance to a wide range of common solvents and chemicals. So let's look at these polymers in more detail. Lithenes are synthesised from butadiene monomer, and the properties I've described are derived from the resulting hydrocarbon backbone. This is combined with a high number of unsaturated carbon-carbon double bonds, which are present in all grades in a combination of 1,4 and 1,2 vinyl arrangements. These unsaturated structures, together with different polymer chain lengths, form the base of the lithium range and provide a unique balance of properties in many formulations. Base lithium structures can also be grafted with maleic anhydride to give an additional functional group, providing higher polarity polymers capable of increasing adhesion to a variety of substrates and some additional reaction routes which I'll describe later. The practical result of the lithium grades polymer design is a range of physical properties summarised here as you can see and it is really the, the combination of these properties which makes them useful in a variety of applications. While all of the properties shown here are interesting and useful in their own right, I'll show during the rest of this webcast how they can be combined into different formulations in industrial applications delivering some real performance benefits. You'll see that these range from enhanced coating performance and corrosion resistance to reducing volatile emissions and providing electrical resins which are safer for workers to handle. Physical form and versatile processing options are obviously important to take advantage of the functional properties of any raw material ingredient. Supplied as viscous liquids, lithenes can be used directly as received or heated to reduce viscosity to assist pumping or pouring. It's also possible to mix lithenes in high concentration with silica to make a dry liquid powder, really useful for adding to dry mix rubber compounds. While they're non-hazardous materials and require no special transport or storage, Full guidance on safe handling and processing conditions is provided in the product safety data sheets. Processing can be by peroxide or sulphur cure at the elevated temperatures typically used in vulcanization. A UV activated cure can be achieved by combining the lithenes with an acrylate monomer and photo initiator while oxidation of the unsaturated sites can provide an ambient temperature cure route with the assistance of metallic dryer accelerators. Maleic anhydride functionalised lithenes offer additional cure routes by reaction with either amines or polyols at ambient or high temperature conditions. Applications for these polymers are diverse offering performance and value to formulators of solvent-based coatings, automotive sealants and damping compounds, high-performance rubbers and electrically insulating resin systems. Lithenes can even be found in some domestic environments, 
where they can be used as the binder in air-dry sand jointing systems for paving stones in garden patios or driveways. In many of these, lithines deliver not only the core strengths I've described, but additional specific functional benefits in each area, from deforming resin systems to reducing mixing times of rubber compounds. The rest of this webcast will demonstrate, by using established commercial examples, how the functional properties of lithines can be used in a wide range of industries, providing really useful performance benefits, helping achieve specification targets cost-effectively. So we'll look first at two examples of lithine application in different types of coatings, first as penetrating wood primers and metal coatings, and then as deforming coating additives. Hydrophobic properties are a basic requirement for many protective coatings, and a property readily demonstrated by lithine polymers. In this example of an alkyd-based penetrating wood primer, lithines can provide better protection to the substrate by improving penetration into the wood. Compatibility with typical coating solvents also provides the possibility to reduce the total solvent in the formulation. This is because the lithium can give a degree of diluent effect, but then cures into the coating by oxidation rather than evaporation, so can reduce the total volatile organic content of the formulation. In metal coatings, the very high electrical resistance of these polymers, in addition to their hydrophobic nature, reduce pathways to corrosion, as shown by the crosshatch corrosion test of the primer coated panels, incorporating just 3 to 5.5 parts of different lithium grades. The high affinity all lithines have for oils also could allow for the coating to be applied directly onto greasy or oily metal surfaces without the need for additional surface preparation. Removal of air bubbles in all surface coating systems is essential to achieve optimal coverage and performance, and there are many chemicals available which can form the base of specialised surfactants, such as mineral oils, alcohols and silicones. Lithine grades can also be used as the base for such deformers, and are particularly suited to deforming solvent-based or pure resins, including polyesters, polyols and alkyds. With very low surface energies, lithines can provide the additive formulator with a specialised deforming base chemical and a material option for applications where silicones, for example, can't be used. Highly effective deformers can be formulated by letting down the lithine polybutadiene in a common solvent, and a number of lithine grades shown here are commercially used for this purpose. Automotive production has huge demand for material performance, and here again, lithines can play a central role. The automotive industry has requirement for sealants, sound dampers and adhesives to perform many functions under very demanding operating conditions. Many are applied in the automotive body shop, and this is direct to oiled metal before degreasing and application of the protective e-coat primer. Lithines are included in many of these products, acting as functional base materials in flexible gap fillers, semi-structural adhesives, providing inherent sound and vibration damping properties for acoustic deadeners, as well as binding to the metal. The hydrophobic nature provides excellent wash-off resistance prior to the e-coat application, and the reactive structures provide a convenient route to cure via sulphur or peroxide vulcanization activated in the paint curing ovens. The model recipe demonstrates the range of strengths possible from the lithium range. The wide choice of molecular weights and reactive structures provides the formulator with base materials capable of providing soft and flexible to 
high hardness, high strength cured materials. Specifications for sound and vibration damping demand a performance profile covering a very wide temperature range, reflecting the service conditions of a typical vehicle. The combination of very low glass transition temperature of the lithine butadiene base with variable structures and polymer chain lengths allows the formulator to potentially combine different grades to achieve the cured sealant properties. The chart shows the effect on the sealant TG delivered by three different lithium grades, all cured in a model sulphur sealant over a range of temperatures. Lithium grades can also be combined together in these systems to tune the performance profile and achieve optimum damping properties. Good adhesion of all these sealant and adhesive types it's really important to ensuring the integrity of the anti-corrosive primer coating over the vehicle body shell. Any adhesive failure during service life provides a route for the start of corrosion, so it is essential to ensure an excellent bond with the metal surface. The higher polarity and affinity for oils, demonstrated by the maleic anhydride functional lithines, provides a significant increase in adhesive strength, as shown by the oil metal test panels, which have had a test sealant applied with and without an ME functional lithium. Without this polymer, total adhesive failure of the bond is seen, but including the lithium at a level of just five parts, the failure point moves to within the sealant itself. As shown in the chart, Different MA lithium grades provide varying degrees of flexibility and adhesive strength after cure. Extruded rubbers and certain cast polyurethanes are also commercial users of lithines for specific property improvements. In rubber compounds, such as those based on EPDM, Lithium grades act as type 2 coagents, co-curing with the rubber during vulcanisation without accelerating the rate of cure. Similar to process oils, these polybutadiene coagents contribute to more efficient mixing during compounding, but unlike process oils, they're non-extractable after cure and do not leach out over time. They will typically increase the hardness and solvent resistance of a peroxide cure rubber by forming more cross-linking bonds between the rubber polymer chains. The range of lithium structures, and in particular the amount of 1-2 vinyl double bonds, provide the compounder with a range of options to match performance and specification. While not shown here, Maleic anhydride lithium grades can also significantly increase adhesion between rubber and reinforcing metal cords or fabrics used in hoses or belting products, for example. Cast polyurethanes are used for a wide range of end-use materials, many requiring a high degree of abrasion resistance to ensure good surface life. Certain lithium grades, such as the N4-9000, have been used for many years as functional additives to the polyol component of PU elastomers, often used for shoe soles, but also many other industrial articles. A small addition of the N4-9000 grade to a polyester polyol can be a cost-effective way to significantly boost the abrasion resistance of the cured elastomer. With electrical components used in so many areas of everyday life, the need to protect them from challenging environmental conditions is always of great importance. There's many resins available to protect electrical systems, from polyesters to epoxies and silicones. But the hydrophobic and electrically insulating properties of lithines also make them a real formulation choice. 
In this example, the lithine is mixed with monomeric styrene in a peroxide-cured recipe to formulate a very hard Shore D insulating resin. The resin can be used for the permanent encapsulation and protection of pump or motor components, even those which experience high and sustained temperature exposure during their service life and can achieve Class H thermal performance operating at a continuous 180 degrees C. For soft, flexible encapsulants, such as those used to fill cable jointing boxes, maleic anhydride functional lithines can provide several interesting options. While two component polyurethanes are widely used in this area, close contact handling of their isocyanate component is increasingly becoming a concern due to the risk of sensitization. An isocyanate free two component encapsulant can be formulated for ambient cure filling of jointing boxes or similar by combining the MA lithine with a suitably reactive polyol. The resulting soft polyester has excellent insulation properties and is still soft enough to allow access and repair to the cable joint, all from a safe and label-free package. And lastly, an application which may be even closer to our homes. The ability of lithines to cure in air can be put to use in a easy to use, air dry, sweep in sand grout for domestic paving or driveways. When combined with an appropriate metallic dryer, then mixed with sand and vacuum sealed, Lithine grades can form the binder component of this increasingly popular professional or DIY paving system. By pouring the compounded sand onto the paving and sweeping or washing into the joints, the lithium will cure over a number of hours to provide a tough yet permeable joint. Several formulation variables are possible to achieve the correct cure profile, including choice of lithium grade base, dryer selection and addition of other drying oils such as linseed or soya bean. I hope that these examples have given some ideas of how lithium liquid polybutadienes can provide benefits in many different applications and our technical service team based in our Harlow UK Technical Centre can provide more information and advice on request. We produce lithines at a dedicated Synthomer site in the UK and they're sold globally through our network of local storage facilities or specialised distributors. A dedicated and highly technical sales team supports customers regionally. Thanks for taking the time to view this webcast and I hope I've demonstrated the versatility of lithine liquid polybutadienes. For more information on the full range of lithium products, further technical advice or your local contact, please use any of the contact details you see here.